rain finally shed off at least the constant part of it uh, later or earlier this afternoon, I should say. We still have a few showers that we could be dealing with tonight and again on Sunday, but it looks like we have gotten over the hump as far as the worst of it. Let me show you what we're expecting uh, for tomorrow. We're actually looking at temperatures which are going to be getting into the 70s, even 80s. We're going to start in the low 70s clouds, but in the afternoon we could still be dealing with a few showers and maybe a couple of thunderstorms. Radar tonight, that's also been picking up some activity, especially west of us. In town, you know, we've had some drizzle and mist. I, I mean, it's damp out there, but the good news is that right now anyway, other than drizzle and mist, there's not much going on. You do see all this activity out to the west. This will weaken, but come over us tonight, so don't be surprised if we've got a few showers tonight. This light gray uh, green stuff, that's just the, the drizzle and mist I'm talking about in spots. We do have that flood warning out toward Upper Marlboro. That's been extended until 5 a.m. tomorrow morning. Up to the north and west, we've got some other flood warnings in Frederick County till 5 a.m. Still some high water. Some of these areas have had eight plus inches of rain just in the last seven days and out to the west when you head out towards West Virginia now into portions of uh, Berkeley County. We've got some flood warnings in Mineral County until 2 a.m. and down Frederick County, Virginia as well. So please be wary of the high water. Some showers west of Newmarket now. They're moving off to the east northeast. So you folks in the Shenandoah Valley, Newmarket over to Luray. Yeah, you could get a couple of showers here over the next hour. And then some other activity. It's heavier south of Interstate 64. We'll watch this as it tracks towards Charlottesville, potentially toward Orange and Culpeper also. And then uh, a much better day tomorrow as temperatures climb into the 80s. But we will see a couple of showers and maybe a rumble of thunder here and there, especially south of town during the afternoon. I'll be back in a few. We'll talk about the coming week and on and off rain chances, but at least some warmer temps. Deborah. Thank you so much, Howard. Well, flooding has been a major issue all over, especially along the Potomac River. And our Michael Quandra is near White's Ferry, where creeks, ditches, and the well-known ferry ramp, they're all underwater. You know, this ferry has been around for more than 200 years and hundreds of people rely on it every day to cross the Potomac. Normally, cars can drive right down here onto this ramp all the way back here to this warning sign. But today, that's clearly not an option. A maze of all the rain that's been dropping. A pathway from Maryland to Virginia. This is a yeah. commuter route. Now underwater. If I walk down there right now, I'll be completely underwater by the time I get to that ramp down there. A swollen Potomac River is starting to seep into the first floor of White's Ferry Store and Grill. The longtime passageway from Loudoun to Montgomery counties shut down since Wednesday, causing drivers to find another way to cross state lines. They're not going to run for a few days, given that it's really high. It's a headache for some, but for others, watching the debris flowing downstream is entertaining. Probably another 30 minutes onto your commute. But it, it's pretty. Have you ever seen the water get this high before? Oh, I've seen it higher than this. I've seen it as high as where this road was covered. It was probably about up to where that cable is. So we probably would not even be able to stand here right now. You wouldn't be able to drive down here, no. Wow. And while this part of the Potomac is not expected to get that high this time, it's still in moderate flood stage and not anticipated to go back to normal until around lunchtime on Monday. In Loudoun County, Michael Quander, WUSA 9. Here is how you get around. You take Route 15 from Leesburg, cross the Route 15 bridge over the Potomac to the Point of Rocks in Maryland and continue south into Poolsville. All right, switching gears now, we now know more about how this freight train went off the tracks this morning in Alexandria. NTSB officials say gravel that underlines the tracks had slid. They're not sure if it was caused by the weather or maybe a maintenance issue. No one was hurt, but 30 freight cars were destroyed. Three sets of tracks were damaged, and earlier today, service was restored to two of them, but at a very slow speed. Those tracks carry Amtrak passenger trains, and officials say service for Monday's commute may be affected. Um, it could have been certainly been a lot worse. It could have been a hazardous material. It could have been anything like that. It could have been a, there could have been a passenger train. And of course, CSX and Norfolk Southern cargo trains also run on those tracks. This accident happened in Alexandria near Floyd Street and Wheeler Road. Take a look right here. Those black lines, those are the tracks. NTSB is, of course, still investigating. Okay, for up-to-the-minute weather forecast, visit our website at WUSA 9.